you a little bit of history. Uh, in 2006, uh, Holy Cross had, uh, was about a year out from having completed a major renovation project back in Silver Spring. And uh, that's usually when you take a deep breath, but in fact, uh, it was clear to us in terms of the immediate uh, extraordinary growth that we were experiencing at the facility and our analysis of the demographics of Montgomery and Prince George's County led us to believe we were going to need more capacity over the longer term if we were going to meet those needs. And we looked around, it was clear to us, even in a community where we had extremely good relationships with our neighbors, uh, that our site was just going to be too small to be able to meet those needs over the long run. So we started then an analysis leading to uh, where we might be able to go to provide some additional services. And we did that analysis on our own, but also with some outside uh, expert consulting help. And we worked off of several criteria. We wanted to go in the county. We wanted to go someplace where there was a large and growing population, but one that was not currently close to any of the existing hospitals. And we were also looking for one that was broadly based. It had the full range of the population, people of all income categories, uh, a diverse population as bespeaks our role and our mission in Montgomery County. When we got that analysis back from the consultants, it said that the place uh, to look was the Germantown Gaithersburg area. That was the only place that really scored high on all of those criteria. So we then went about looking for land, which is what you do when you're thinking about creating a facility. And we looked at a whole variety of sites uh, that were at least 20 acres uh, uh, in size. We were looking for somewhere in the 20 to 25 acre range. Uh, and multiple sites were identified, but when we saw the site uh, here at Montgomery College, which had been on the market for a while uh, as part of the Science and Technology Park, uh, we immediately uh, looked into it seriously, and it was obvious pretty quickly it was the best choice. There were two big reasons for that. One, it really is right in the center of the area that we were looking at, in the Germantown, Gaithersburg area, uh, close by uh, uh, Route 270 and nearby to a very highly concentrated amount of people, and yet not right in a neighborhood. We have a lot of experience with being right in a neighborhood. The, the second thing is that the population around it was not only very large, uh, but it was growing, growing quite a bit faster than the county as a whole, and aging twice as fast as the county as a whole. And that's a pretty high bar, because Montgomery County is aging overall at a very high rate. And in fact, 70% of all the growth in Montgomery County between now and between 2025 and 2030 will be made up of people over 65 even though they're only 12% of the population today. And this area is growing twice as fast, the aging population twice as fast as that. The second, and maybe at least as exciting, if not more so, was the prospect that it offered us to do something with Montgomery College, uh, an opportunity we thought for something special beyond just building a, a, a badly needed healthcare facility. And from the beginning of our conversations with the college, and actually Dr. Pinckney, who was the provost here then, and I had many of those conversations, we agreed it should be more than just a land deal. It should have an educational partnership, and it should be an anchor for the Science and Technology Center. And we think that it can do that. We think this is a national model uh, that is the future of healthcare training uh, for the next generation of healthcare workers. Uh, and we think it is also uh, a very, very good uh, tenant, if you will, for the college to do something really exceptional, which is to build a science and technology core. And when we asked the public, and we did do some opinion surveying, more than three quarters of them cited the benefit of the hospital-college partnership and what it could do for students and for the and for the county as a reason why they were strongly supportive of putting the hospital uh, where we were selecting. And here we are two years almost after our initial conversations, and we've made a lot of progress. Um, and in fact, many of the things that we set out to do, I think, have proven themselves to be at least as important as we thought they were going to be. The educational partnership has been moving ahead. We have a task force that works on that, uh, that has been planning and, and implementing changes. And within the next three years, it will produce at least $200,000 a year uh, in, in funds and in-kind help uh, for the college. That is always, we thought, was going to be important, but in these times of very tight public uh, support, it has turned out to be more important than we even, than we even thought. And secondly, we had always agreed that as being, being the anchor, we could give the impetus to the science and technology part. And if anything, that is now more true because we are in a period of 
tougher economic times, and particularly in the construction industry. So this jump start is probably even more important than we thought it was going to be, and it was pretty important. We decided that ultimately it was going to be important to try to quantify all of those economic benefits, the things that I'm uh, mentioning to you. And so we selected the, the SAGE policy group to do an analysis. What does it look like in terms of jobs uh, and income flow and taxes in the county? And you're going to hear those results in just a couple of minutes. Um, they're very exciting, I think, in terms of what this one project with all of the things that, uh, that it can produce are going to do uh, for our overall environment. Now, I will just say on a separate track, we continue to work through the certificate of need process in the state. Many of the population statistics and other, uh, other aspects of this study we talk about in that study, but it is a separate track. It is an analysis that's done at the state level, mostly on health care criteria. But as we have worked our way through that process, I will tell you we have secured uh, and have in hand the financing necessary to do this project uh, once uh, we get that approval. So we're proud to have this opportunity. Uh, we're delighted to have so many of you exposed to some of the impacts that we think it, that it's going to have. We are, uh, we are, we are going to be celebrating our 50th year in the county very soon. We're proud of what Holy Cross has done in the county. This partnership, uh, which now uh, uh, is in front of us, I think is something that will be a new chapter and maybe the most exciting chapter uh, of all. And so with that, I'm going to end uh, my uh, introductory comments.